Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. This is Khan, our eco diesel gladiator built for epic adventures. Khan is equipped with only the best of breed products from top end manufacturers like Terraflex, Falcon, Evo Manufacturing, Rebel Off Road. Black Rhino, Maxis, Pelican, 67 Designs, and Goose Gear, just to name a few. At Epic, we specialize in purpose-built Jeeps to take you on unforgettable adventures. If you're interested in an Epic build, give us a call. We live and breathe this platform. Now, here's the Ginger. Okay. We have been so busy at the shop with doing equipment upgrades and vehicle builds that we are long overdue for this video. Without further ado, here's the epic Eco Diesel Gladiator known as Khan. Um, this lift kit we went with is completely a la carte. It does not exist. We just ordered every part from each manufacturer we wanted that we like the best out of what's available at the time. So primarily, 80% of it is Terraflex and Falcon. There's our nice Falcon 2 ones. As you can also see, the complete set of Terraflex Alpine IR bushings. Off-road evolution. 4.5 inch coil springs front and rear. Falcon adjustable steering stabilizer and a bunch of other goodies and brackets. Here we've got the rear suspension, another set of Falcon 2 ones, waiting on those three threes. Hint, hint, Joe. We've got the Alpine IR bushing control arms. Underneath we've got that nice new TerraFlex rear track bar bracket that I can't stop talking about. we'd want to try a different wheel and tire combo than we normally do so we've got these really nice black rhino abrams wheels designed after the abrams tank and a nice textured gunmetal color wrapped in some maxis razor mt tires 38 13 and a half 20 because 37 12 and a half just ain't big enough for paul Epic Adventure Outfitters is also the Rebel Off-Road dealer for Canada. So, you're damn right, we wrapped the whole vehicle in Rebel Off-Road. Uh, we've got their stubby front bumper with low tube. Sandwiched in there nicely is the Warren VR Series Evo 12,000 with synthetic line. We got the Epic Fair Lead and Sidewinder in there. For those people after have to run a front plate, we've got the Flipster from Cascadia. Slid in a couple of rigid radiant scene lights. Like I said before, we've wrapped this truck in Rebel Off-Road and man, do they make and package a really nice product. So, so far we've got the half rack all around with a whole bunch of stuff mounted to it. So we decided to go a different route this year. We've done rooftop tents back since all the way back to like 2013. 
we are a little bored of them until something new comes out that can at least get our attention we've decided to go swags so it gave us a nice spot to put the spare tire for a change so a lot of people go well how are you gonna get that down it's real easy it's not my problem i'm not driving this vehicle so but realistically he's just gonna flip it off into the bush and then leave the damaged tire behind for the next guy to find Okay, strapped to the side here, we've got one of those nice expensive Pelican cases, the Storm case that you can put your sniper rifle in, but we've since decided to put other stuff in that, which we'll show at a later date. We're just gonna nickname it the Party Box right now. We'll see what's coming next. We then got one of the nice Pelican cargo boxes in the back, BX140R seemed to fit the sizing we were looking for. So this is where store most of the gear that you'd put down in your tent or your rain gear all that it's all nicely stored in here watertight mount made by front runner in the back of our rack here rebel off road uh designed a really nice table mount so it fits a dometic table so we can slide this out and then we've got one and a half table space worth of stuff to do your cooking prepping or i guess play a game of cards got our roto packs water mount to the side the only good thing you can do with a roto pack is put water because it definitely doesn't carry enough fuel. On the back here, we've got our mountain hatch cutting board. It's a great product. You basically definitely need one if you've got a truck that you go out camping with because it gives you at least a nice flat surface and a place to put your drinks. CFX355 IM. And what does the IM stand for? Ice maker. So you can make ice in an hour and a half with this thing. And let me tell you, we have some plans to show that in later videos. So we've got the Dometic fridge slide that's mounted to Rebel Off-Road's own no-drill fridge slide mount for the bed. It actually goes in to the cargo slide, or the cargo rails. So you always gotta have the fridge with you, because you never know. We need to have your Monster Energy drink with you, because you're up all night making other people's vehicles awesome. You'll see here the rear bumper is the rebel off-road rear bumper with the side armor it is nice integrated bolts right up to the factory hardware gives you this excellent step which we use all the time slid in a couple of those radiant scene lights except this time we went with a red backlight on this side we at the time it was a new color for these max tracks it was a dark navy figured it went well with the uh giant gorilla coloring this is the first time we've ever really carried actual max tracks we figured we'd come across enough toyotas on the trail we should probably get a set also we decided since we live in the rainiest place in north america pretty much we'd have some kind of an awning on this truck so we just grabbed the small arb one because there's not many companies that make a four foot awning it's not much but it is enough to put and cook under if you had to or just even sit a chair and watch the rainfall I guess one of the favorites of the shot is this off-road evolution bomber rockers I've installed so many of these sets I can't even count anymore this time we decided to go without the skins they will take a good punishing and of course so we could be just a little more legal on the road when we're going through the Tim Hortons drive-through we got a set of rock blocks mud flaps that are quick release 
if you remember to take them off on the trail. Paul doesn't. As you can see here, we have a very small graphic on the side. Got our rigid pods, backlit amber on the nice Artec mount. If you haven't seen these Artec mounts before, no one else makes a mount as tight fitting as these ones. 67 designs, of course, and always a favorite of ours to hold phones and other gadgets. Or if you're an overloader, you can pretty much mount the kitchen sink inside. Inside, we have gotten rid of the back seats so we don't have to take any pesky passengers. Thrown in the Goose Gear 100% seat delete so that you have lots of room to strap down all your gear. For airing up our tires, twin ARB compressor mounted very cleanly under the seat, not even wasting one of our aux switches. Air up all four tires at once in under 10 minutes. It's amazing. So you can sit inside, stay toasty, warm, or air-conditioned, depending on the weather, while your friends sit outside leaning against their tire, airing it up. Under the hood, we've custom-mounted the uh, S-Pod HD switch center, so that we can run all our lighting. We've got our twin compressor wired up in there, as well as the winch. That's our Epic Eco Diesel Gladiator. Of course, we're not done modifying it, but at the most of the time, it's pretty good for to go through the summer without any major modifications. We'll do little things here and there, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. Looks good, catches attention, has Crap. tons of scratches. If you like what we do here, smash that subscribe button, like this video, because we got a lot more Gladiators coming your way with a lot of cool mods we haven't done before. Also, if anybody asks, yes, we're in a desert in Syria. Thanks for following along. Be sure to subscribe for more epic adventures.